Hundreds of families are packing up the lives they've made in Central Florida hotels, and many of them have no idea where they'll go next. What are your biggest worries at this point? To end up in the street. That's my main not just me. Ariana Colon, who is pregnant, also has a one-year-old with her boyfriend. But after four extensions, FEMA's hotel program ends this weekend, which means her family and about 17 other evacuees could be homeless. Many who already lost everything in Puerto Rico during Hurricane Maria fear they'll now have to live in tents or cars. We came here because of the situation that pushed us to come here with just nothing but maybe a case with just some clothes and that's it. Ariana says her family can't get into an apartment because the only ones they've found that are available require them to make at least $3,000 a month and they need to pay $3,000 up front before they move in. Many have been saving up but will now have to spend what they've saved to put some kind of roof over their head, whether it's a hotel, a single rented bedroom, a car or a tent. Well, that was Channel 9's Lauren Seabrook reporting at this point when FEMA announced this would be the end of its hotel program. It said it planned to fly families back to Puerto Rico. Out of the 1,700 evacuees still in central Florida, only 43 are taking those free flights.